Thank you very much, Kimba. Welcome to Sports News. Kenya-born French long-distance runner Ibrahim Kiprotic has won the 2018 Lagos City Marathon. Kiprotic returned in 2 hours, 15 minutes and 40 seconds to edge his compatriots, Kibos Ronnie and Victor Benjamin. Ilya Pam became the first Nigerian to reach the finish line in 2 hours and 27 minutes. It is 6.30 a.m. in Lagos, Nigeria. Hundreds of marathon runners waiting to hear the start and whistle, anxiously staring at their wristwatches. Then the moment they have been yearning for arrives. The runners struggle to get a good start and positioning, rushing and shoving. And after two hours, 13 minutes and four seconds, Kenyan-born Frenchman Abraham Kiptritic takes the biggest prize of the day. Three minutes better than 2017 winner Abraham Kiptum. He is closely followed by another Kenyan duo of Ronnie Kibos and Benjamin Bittock in 2 hours 13 minutes and 23 seconds and 2 hours 13 minutes and 29 seconds respectively. $50, Lagos State Governor Akiomi Ambode is excited with the records. We've broken all the records of last year and we're very excited about this. Yes, this is the bronze level. The intention is to take this to the gold level in the next two years and we know we can do this. And while the Kenyans dominate the men's race, the Ethiopians sweep the women's race with a trio of Tix Grima, Ayelu Hodofa and Herfa Guta going home with the prize money. For Nigerian runners, Elia Pam finishes the 42-kilometer race in 2 hours, 40 minutes, 19 seconds to defend his title. Charibota Philibus comes second in 2 hours, 54 minutes and 16 seconds. And Kefus Williams comes third in a time of 2 hours, 58 minutes and 1 second, while Deborah Pam tops the women's race. The Sports Minister Solomon Dalong and President of Athletics Federation of Nigeria, Ibrahim Guso, commend their efforts. The first female winner will receive the sum of 600,000 from me. The first male winner will receive 500,000 from me. Because this athlete comes from my club, he has another donation of another 50,000 naira. A mild drama begins when the award for the second place is given, with Mary Akor, who represented the USA in 2016, laying claim to the second position. So we'll do the presentation. For Nigerian athletes, a lot may have to be done for them to be able to compete favorably with the East Africans. Anything that we need, let them supply it for us so that we should do our training with it. If Nigeria will prepare us very well, keep us in calm, have a good time for us, good accommodation, you understand, good feeding, I, am, I want to assure you we will run better than them. The elite athletes are not the only ones recognized. Awards and support were also given to the 10-kilometer runners, including two kids. How many kilometers did you do? February the 9th, 2019 is the date for the fourth edition. And for those that want to put up a good showing, preparation may have to start now. To see kids doing that race, I must be there next year. Well, Argentina international Sergio Aguero scored four goals as Manchester City demolished Leicester 5-1 to remain top of the Premier League. Harry Kane has uh, taught has tormented Arsenal again as the Tottenham striker's clinical finish sealed a 1-0 win in the North London Derby at Wembley. Everton profited from their quick-fire start to the second half to beat Crystal Palace 3-1 and earn just the second win in nine league games. Stoke midfielder Charlie Adams saw his late penalty saved as Brighton clung on for a point in a dramatic finish. Javier Hernandez and Marco Anatovic scored as West Ham put further distance between themselves and the relegation zone with victory over Watford. 
And that's all on Sports News. Gimba is back in a moment. More stories now. North Korean leader Jim Jong Kim Jong-un has invited South Korea's President Moon Jae-in to Pyongyang. It will be the first summit in more than a decade between the Korean leaders. Mr. Moon says that the Koreans should make it happen and encourage the North to return to negotiations with the U.S. The handwritten invitation was delivered by Mr. Kim's influential sister, Kim Yo-jong, at a landmark meeting in the presidential palace in Seoul before the Winter Olympics. Ms. Kim and the North's ceremonial head of state, Kim Yong-nam, are the most senior delegation from the North to visit the South since the Korean War in the 1950s. A sister-in-law to President Muhammad Buhari, Hajia Aisha Mamun, has died at the age of 75. Hajia Aisha Mamun died at the Federal Medical Center in Katsina following a brief illness. The deceased was the wife of the late Al-Haji Mamun Dambafali, the, lead, the elder brother of the President. The senior special assistant to the President on Media and Publicity, Garbashehu, in a statement said that the President also lost his niece, Hajia Halima Doda who is also the younger sister to his close associate and nephew, Mamun Dora. He said that the deceased was buried in Dora this morning. And the main news again. Three University of Mid-Degree lecturers and ten policewomen who were abducted by Boko Haram insurgents last year have regained their freedom today. The release of the abductees follows in representatives of the federal government and the terrorist group. President Muhammad Buhari has welcomed the release and applauded the negotiators. Also today, there were palpable fears heightening humanitarian crises as thousands fled their homes in Nasara state over fear of being attacked by gunmen in the state. And that's it on the News at 10 tonight. I want to thank you so much indeed for watching. On behalf of everyone here, have a splendid night, friends. Good night.